Vintage wooden animals, beautifully decorative vintage wooden animals, cut from chunky pieces of wood and printed with the image of various animals. These have had a fun-filled life. The printing is worn on most animals and some have felt pen marks on them. But we feel this adds to their charm. The animals are printed on both sides. Horses measure 21.2 centimeter tall times 25.5 dot centimeter wide times 3.2 dot centimeter animal folk art objects because many folk artists were laborers who interacted with nature on a daily basis their paintings sculptures and other objects frequently display a strong connection with the animal kingdom these pieces were generally made by hand for domestic use and featured animal figures drawn from life experiences or cultural traditions animals appear in all forms of folk art from decorative but functional, household objects to naive works of art. Beyond the painted depictions of farm animals and country life, some folk art works focus on creatures as their primary subject. Highly ornate ink and watercolor images of birds were popular household ornaments, along with portraits of deer, bears, bison, and even exotic wild beasts. Crafts executed specifically by women, like embroidery or paper cutouts, regularly focused on animals and nature as symbols of comfort and abundance. Quilts also frequently incorporated animal imagery, as with Harriet Power's creation of the Animals Quilt of 1886, which features iconic Bible scenes filled with wild creatures. Others such as the famous Bird of Paradise quilt from the 1850s relied on the symbolic associations we give to common creatures like owls and peacocks. In addition to items of domestic ornament, animal imagery was commonly used to beautify utilitarian objects, like stoneware pottery, grandfather clocks, rocking chairs, drums, and other types of furniture. Some functional objects were actually shaped like animals, giving rise to cat boot scrapers, crocodile nutcrackers, mill weights resembling farm animals, frog-shaped pipes, cast iron bird doorstops, dogs head ink wells, and piggy banks. The close relationship between human and horse has inspired many craft representations, from ancient Chinese jade horses to the colorful wooden dala horses made in Sweden. During the 18th and 19th centuries, horses were essential to modern life, a fact reflected in their frequent appearance in all styles of folk art. There are intricately carved carousel horses, miniature equine models accompanying toy soldiers, racing horse whirly gigs, rocking horses, and horsehead shaped hitching posts. During this era, sculptures of animals were also widely used outside the home as decorative weather vanes or business signage. Beautiful copper renderings of leaping stags, charging stallions, or stoic roosters often topped weather vanes though many versions were more cheaply produced in wood. Figural signs, like the wooden fish sculptures appearing above fish markets in seaside towns, provided a quick visual way to advertise a product, particularly in an era when many citizens could not read. Decoys and lures fall into another classic folk art genre, encompassing a variety of objects made to mimic a wild creature to aid in hunting or fishing. The most collected form of these handcrafts are duck decoys, which were adopted from the Native American practice and widely produced in the late 19th and early 20th century. The most desirable decoys tend to be highly realistic pieces made from solid wood, with natural looking feathers and heads. Traditionally, indigenous communities created many objects in animal form to represent spiritual beings, like carved totems or ritual costume masks. Particularly collectible are the huge, complex masks created by Native American people living along the northwestern coast of the United States, which combine painted wood, fabric, and feathers to reference each clan's animal ancestors.
Well viewers, that's all we have for today. Which ones did you like? Share us your thoughts in the comment section. We hope you've enjoyed our today's content. If you do, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash that notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.